Hello, how is everything progressing? And so this is Checho speaking, and today I'm presenting this video where we're going to address the issue you're encountering, which just occurred to me today. It hadn't happened in quite some time, but surely it happens to you as well. Like you might have your smart TV functioning perfectly, your Wi Fi is excellent, but suddenly you turn it on and it indicates there's no uh, wireless network connection, no connection whatsoever everything appears to be without internet mate and so today i'm going to demonstrate three methods we'll attempt them one by one some will be effective for some of you others will be effective for others but let's begin here the first method is when we have our remote control i'll demonstrate here we have the power button which is the following as you can observe the button i just showed you is the power button so what are we going to do? We're going to press this button for three seconds and as you can see the smart TV will display the brand logo of the operating system which in my case is Tizen. There it says ready. Once this occurs the smart TV will have performed a refresh like an update of the configuration. In this case we'll verify again if we have internet or not Let's see, we'll go to settings, go to general, then go to network and check the network status to see if we have Wi-Fi or if we still don't have a network status. When it says no connection, it's, uh, let's hit retry and see. No, it says no connection. All right, so the second method is to return to the settings we opened and go to where it says technical support. You know, here, as you can see, there's a section that says device care. No, Max, yes, yes, go ahead. We go to device care and wait for it to open. As you can see, it says checking your device. In some countries, this might be called self-diagnosis, which is what we see here, Samuel. So we select self-diagnosis, and here we have video test, image test, sound test, HMI troubleshooting, signal information, and smart hub connection test. Let's select that, and it says it's performing the test. Plus, it says wireless network test in progress. Well, it says the connection test cannot be completed. It says, no, it doesn't provide us a solution through this method either. So what are we going to do now? In this case, none of the methods work. And some people have had success with the previous ones and might have internet now. In our case, perhaps not. So what we're going to do is go to the home screen and do the most traditional thing that works even with older smart TVs, which is to disconnect our smart TV from the power meaning from the cable as I'm about to do. Perfect, I've just disconnected it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to turn it on again, wait for it to load and go back to the settings to see if we now have internet or not. Let's see settings. Go to general and go to network to see if it now shows that we have internet or not. Let's see here network and go to network status. And it as you can see, it says no connection. So let's try again, and it still doesn't work. An alternative method is fundamentally uh, analogous to the previous one, but in this particular case, we won't power it down initially before the action I executed us. Instead, we'll keep it powered on and disconnect the power once more, then reconnect it, all while maintaining the smart TV in its powered on state. And previously, I left it off and disconnected it. Now we leave it on, disconnect, and then reconnect. Observe. In this scenario, I didn't need to turn it on because it was already on and the smart TV automatically recognized its status and powered itself back on. Let's navigate to settings, return to the same section, to general here, where it says general, and then proceed to network. It might still not function, indicating no wireless network connection. All right, none of the methods succeeded. So what is our subsequent step? 
Since we've already restarted it and performed all these actions, the only remaining option is to reset the network. As you can see here, it states reset network setting. So let's select that, click restart and wait for it to process. Resetting the network settings, please wait. It indicates it has been reset, so we proceed to network settings. And what we'll do in this instance is reconnect it, meaning reconnect our Wi-Fi with the network we possess. I'm mentioning this now at the conclusion because it's crucial to execute everything I've instructed you earlier. You know, if we hadn't done it, if we attempted this as the initial step, it likely wouldn't succeed. However, since we've already restarted, generated the network settings reset, and also reset our smart TV by disconnecting the cable, it's now viable to proceed. It states basic information will be transmitted. Once I configure this, it prompts accept, and here I click start. And as you can see, if I return here and navigate to where it says general and then network, I verify the network status. It now indicates your TV is connected to the internet, but it's vital to adhere to all the steps I outlined so that the smart TV genuinely restarts the configuration, restarts the internal configuration, and restarts the power supply that energizes the smart TV. So you must perform all these actions and once completed, as I mentioned, we'll have internet. Yeah, it now confirms I have it so I can access Spotify, YouTube and or any other platform and it will function.